Welcome to our channel Sankalp Study Success. Today in this video we are going to learn about equivalence of acceptance by empty stack and final state. That means what? Here we are going to con we have already learned that there is you uh, string valid in pushdown automata by acceptance by empty stack and also the acceptance by final state, right? So here we are going to convert if the pushdown automata it is given that it is acceptance by empty stack then you have you will convert it into acceptance by final state if in case your pushdown automata it is given that it is accepted by the final state then you are going to convert it into acceptance by empty stack so that is nothing but the equivalence between empty stack and the final state so now let us go into this where here let m is equals to the seven tuple notation which is a pushdown automata which is a pda which is accepting l by empty stack that means what this pushdown automata is going to be accepted by empty stack and if this is in is such a pushdown automata then there exists another pushdown automata which is nothing but m dash and this will accept language l by final state so m is going to be accepted by empty stack and m dash is going to be accepted by final state where both the pushdown automatas are one and the same but this is accepted by empty stack and this is ac accepted by final state so now if this exists then this also will exist so here Q is uh, Q is nothing but the set of states. Uh, this is the input alphabet, stack alphabet, transition function. Q naught is the initial state. This is top of the stack, and F is the final state. Now, if you convert this final this pushdown automata into m dash, that means which is accepted by final state, then number of states states changes. That means Q is changed to Q dash. Then sigma will be the same and stack alphabet is going to become stack alphabet dash that means there will be a difference in the stack alphabet and also the transition function transition function is different from empty stack to final state here q naught is the initial state but in the acceptance by final state q naught dash will be the final state and also here it is z naught is the final state but here it is z naught dash is the final state now let us see what is the difference now first of all let us define the transition function dash which is mapping from here r1 according to the this is rule 1 rule 2 and rule 3 according to the three rules we are going to construct the pushdown automata which is accepted by final state now this r1 maps from transition function dash of q0 dash epsilon z0 dash that is equals to q naught z naught z naught dash so this is applicable for each and every pushdown automata now transition function dash of q a z will be is equals to transition of q a z that means what we are going to find out the transition function dash of any state by applying any input symbol then this will be the formula which we will need to use so now coming to if there is a no input symbol that means if you have epsilon if you have any input symbol then you are applying rule 2 if you are not having any input symbol that means you are having epsilon over there then you are going to use the third formula which is q epsilon and z naught dash then it becomes qf comma epsilon so these are the rules which we are going to use in order to solve the problem so this is about equivalence of acceptance by empty stack and also the final state now let us solve a problem related to this so that will be clear in order to convert from empty stack to final state now here goes the question Consider the following pushdown automata which accepts L by empty stack and convert it to equivalent pushdown automata which accepts L by final state. That means following, say I am going to write the pushdown automata here, the following pushdown automata that will be the, that will accept it by empty stack. Now you need to convert that into pushdown automata which which accepts final state so let me write the pushdown automata over here which is given in the question where m is equals to q0 comma q1 
this is nothing but the set of states q0 comma q1 and a comma b are the input alphabet that means input symbols then b comma z0 this is nothing but the stack alphabet right so and the transition function q0 is the initial state z0 is the top of the stack and phi because phi is nothing but it is accepted by empty stack so if you just think in the m dash which is accepted by final state you will not be having phi over there so this is our push down automata where our transition function is given by transition function is given by we are also given with the transition function in the question itself so let me write it here transition function of q naught a comma z naught which is equals to q naught comma b z naught and transition function of q naught a b that means q naught small a and capital b which is equals to q naught comma b b and transition function of q naught small b comma capital b this is equals to q1 comma epsilon and also transition function of q1 small b and capital b which is equals to q1 comma epsilon here and the last one is transition of q1 epsilon and z0 which is equals to q1 comma epsilon so this is the entire question which is given to us where this push down automata it is accepted by empty stack so you need to convert it by which is accepted by final state that means you need to construct another push down automata corresponding to this push down automata in such a way that it should be accepted by final state now if you carefully observe q0 and q1 are set of states in q then q dash will become q0 and q1 as it is whatever we have in q and also along with that we are going to have q0 dash and qf because according to the formula q0 dash and qf will also be included now this is nothing but q dash so here sigma will be equal to a and b only right because both the sigmas are same then b comma z0 which is nothing but the stack alphabet stack alphabet dash is equals to capital b z0 and z0 dash here capital b and z0 are same but z0 dash is again extra which is going to add over here so these are the things which are the new things for the in order to construct push down automata by accepting by final state now let us draw the transition diagram uh, sorry let us take the transition function dash as these all are the transition functions for the push down automata by empty stack now let us write all the transition da function dash transition function dash is given by so if you consider here there is a rule 1 here if you consider the rule 1 which is q0 dash comma epsilon comma z0 q0 dash is nothing but q0 and q1 right so there are two states q0 and q1 so transition dash of q0 comma epsilon comma z0 dash will be equals to q0 comma z0 z0 dash that's it right because here q0 z0 z0 dash here it is q0 epsilon and z0 dash so according to rule 1 i am writing q0 comma epsilon comma z0 dash is equals to q0 comma z0 z0 dash and also we are going to have q1 comma epsilon comma z0 everything will be the same but only the q1 is different because we are changing the state from q0 previously we considered q0 and then now we are considering q1 so for q1 okay we have already considered q0 dash right so this is the one thing which we have uh, which we are going to take for each and every step so here this is according to the rule one right this is according to according to rule one now coming to the rule two transition function dash of q a z that means q is nothing but q naught a and z naught right q naught a and z naught will be equals to see here transition function dash of q naught a z naught is equal to transition function of q a z that means it is transition function of 
q0 a and z0 let us see what is the transition function of q0 a and z0 it is q0 comma bz0 so let us write q0 comma bz0 this is nothing but the move for q0 a and z0 now let us take another move q0 a b because this is also of the same form q a z q0 small a and capital b which is again equals to transition function of q0 a and b then this will become q0 comma bb now transition function dash of the next thing is q0 small b and capital b so q0 small b and capital b is equals to transition function of q0 comma b comma b the value of this will it is nothing but q1 comma epsilon so it is q1 comma epsilon now let us go with the next one q1 b small b and capital b transition function dash of q1 small b and capital b which is equals to transition of q1 small b and capital b which is equals to q1 comma epsilon so this is also q1 comma epsilon now the last one which we have is q1 epsilon and z0 transition function dash of q1 epsilon and z0 this will be equals to transition of q1 epsilon and z0 which is equals to q1 comma epsilon we are done with each and every transitions which we have in the push down automaton by empty stack so this all are going to be formed according to rule 2 now we are going to also find according to rule 3 right so according to rule 3 according to rule 3 it is only for the inputs which we have only epsilon correct so here if you observe there is only one step which is having epsilon as the input that is q1 epsilon and z0 dash so the see here it is not only about the epsilon it is for every q belonging to capital q that means for every q that means there are two states q0 and q1 here so for every state q0 and q1 we need to apply that formula that means transition function dash of q0 comma epsilon comma z0 dash is equals to qf comma epsilon and also for q1 because for every q belonging to capital q so q1 comma epsilon comma z0 dash is equals to qf comma epsilon so according to rule 3 this is the thing so now these all transitions from this rule 1 to completely rule 3 these all transition function dash are nothing but the push down automata for which is accepted by final state so like this we are going to find out or we are going to convert from push down automata accepting by empty stack to push down automata accepting by final state so that means there are three formulas which we need to remember that is rule one rule two and rule three according to those rules we are going to just substitute each and every value which is given in the question into the answer so this is the way in order to find out the equivalence of empty stack and also the final state thank you for watching the video